The game is up, Richter. Please, you can have the jewels, the money, anything you want. Take it. You had your chance to bargain. Now all I want is blood. All I want is blood. Hey, squibs are expensive. Not everyone has a Steven Seagal budget, or even a Van Damme budget. Don't let that stop you from perforating your actors on camera. All you need is a few cheap items for an effect that looks better than nothing. Items to procure. A gingham tablecloth. A large bowl. Filled with fake blood. Water balloons. A turkey baster. Fishing line. At least 20 pounds strength. Super glue. Flat washers, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Available at Hankins Hardware, 1720 Southeast Hawthorne. Aisle 4. Big pens. With caps. An unwanted shirt. A dedicated thespian. Scissors. A sharpie. Sturdy assistants. Each with a sturdy stick. And of course, duct tape. Fill your balloons with blood from the baster. Try to get as much air out as possible for the best blood blast radius and tie them off. Loop the fishing line around a pen and cap it to prevent spooling. Tie your fishing line to a washer. We recommend a bow line, but a double overhand will suffice. With the balloons opening as the south pole, glue the washer to the equator or somewhere near the Tropic of Cancer. And your nickel squibs are ready for action. The last thing you're going to want is a 12-pack of beer. Beer cardboard is the sturdiest and best for this type of effect. Armor your volunteer in beer cardboard and make sure it's on there securely. Put the prop shirt on your actor, cut a small hole, and mark the cardboard with a sharpie. Tape your balloons in the spots you marked. Use the tape to pressurize the balloons, but be careful not to overdo it. Carefully spool out the fishing line. Tie and tape the lines to the pulling sticks. Rebutton the prop shirt and walk gingerly to the shot location. Bang. Coach your pullers, coach your actors, and give them a one, one, two, two, three, three. Professor, look out! Ah!